In mathematics, physics, and engineering, a Euclidean vector sometimes called a geometric or spatial vector, or as here simply a vector is a geometric object that has magnitude or length and direction. Vectors can be added to other vectors according to vector algebra. A Euclidean vector is frequently represented by a line segment with a definite direction, or graphically as an arrow, connecting an initial point A with a terminal point B, and denoted by A B A B. A B. A vector is what is needed to carry the point A to the point B. The Latin word vector means carrier. It was first used by 18th century astronomers investigating planet rotation around the Sun. The magnitude of the vector is the distance between the two points and the direction refers to the direction of displacement from A to B. Many algebraic operations on real numbers such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and negation have close analogues for vectors, operations which obey the familiar algebraic laws of commutativity, associativity, and distributivity. These operations and associated laws qualify Euclidean vectors as an example of the more generalized concept of vectors defined simply as elements of a vector space. Vectors play an important role in physics, the velocity and acceleration of a moving object and the forces acting on it can all be described with vectors. Many other physical quantities can be usefully thought of as vectors. Although most of them do not represent distances except, for example, position or displacement, their magnitude and direction can still be represented by the length and direction of an arrow. The mathematical representation of a physical vector depends on the coordinate system used to describe it. Other vector-like objects that describe physical quantities and transform in a similar way under changes of the coordinate system include pseudovectors and tensors. History The concept of vector, as we know it today, evolved gradually over a period of more than 200 years. About a dozen people made significant contributions. Justo Bellavitis abstracted the basic idea in 1835 when he established the concept of equipollence. Working in a Euclidean plane, he made equipollent any pair of line segments of the same length and orientation. Essentially he realized an equivalence relation on the pairs of points by points in the plane and thus erected the first space of vectors in the plane. The term vector was introduced by William Rowan Hamilton as part of a quaternion, which is a sum q equals s plus v of a real number s also called scalar and a three-dimensional vector. Like Bellavitis, Hamilton viewed vectors as representative of classes of equipollent directed segments. As complex numbers use an imaginary unit to complement the real line, Hamilton considered the vector v to be the imaginary part of a quaternion, the algebraically imaginary part, being geometrically constructed by a straight line, or radius vector, which has, in general, for each determined quaternion, a determined length and determined direction in space, may be called the vector part, or simply the vector of the quaternion. Several other mathematicians developed vector like systems in the middle of the 19th century, including Augustin Cauchy, Hermann Grassmann, August Mobius, Comte de Saint Venant, and Matthew O'Brien. Grassmann's 1840 work Theory der Ebbe und Flut theory of the ebb and flow was the first system of spatial analysis similar to today's system and had ideas corresponding to the cross-product, scalar product and vector differentiation. Grassmann's work was largely neglected until the 1870s. Peter Guthrie Tate carried the quaternion standard after Hamilton. His 1867 elementary treatise of quaternions included extensive treatment of the nabla or del operator. In 1878 Elements of Dynamic was published by William Kingdon Clifford. Clifford simplified the quaternion study by isolating the dot product and cross product of two vectors from the complete quaternion product. This approach made vector calculations available to engineers and others working in three dimensions and skeptical of the fourth. Josiah Willard Gibbs, who was exposed to quaternions through James Clerk Maxwell's treatise on electricity and magnetism, separated off their vector part for independent treatment. The first half of Gibbs's Elements of Vector Analysis, published in 1881, presents what is essentially the modern system of vector analysis. In 1901 Edwin Bidwell Wilson published Vector Analysis, adapted from Gibbs' lectures, which banished any mention of quaternions in the development of vector calculus. Overview 
In physics and engineering, a vector is typically regarded as a geometric entity characterized by a magnitude and a direction. It is formally defined as a directed line segment, or arrow, in a Euclidean space. In pure mathematics, a vector is defined more generally as any element of a vector space. In this context, vectors are abstract entities which may or may not be characterized by a magnitude and a direction. This generalized definition implies that the above-mentioned geometric entities are a special kind of vectors, as they are elements of a special kind of vector space called Euclidean space. This article is about vectors strictly defined as arrows in Euclidean space. When it becomes necessary to distinguish these special vectors from vectors as defined in pure mathematics, they are sometimes referred to as geometric, spatial, or Euclidean vectors. Being an arrow, a Euclidean vector possesses a definite initial point and terminal point. A vector with fixed initial and terminal point is called a bound vector. When only the magnitude and direction of the vector matter, then the particular initial point is of no importance, and the vector is called a free vector. Thus two arrows a b and a b display style overwrite arrow ob in space represent the same free vector if they have the same magnitude and direction that is they are equivalent if the quadrilateral aba is a parallelogram if the euclidean space is equipped with a choice of origin then a free vector is equivalent to the bound vector of the same magnitude and direction whose initial point is the origin the term vector also has generalizations to higher dimensions and to more formal approaches with much wider applications Topic. Examples in one dimension Since the physicist's concept of force has a direction and a magnitude, it may be seen as a vector. As an example, consider a rightward force f of 15 newtons. If the positive axis is also directed rightward, then f is represented by the vector 15n, and if positive points leftward, then the vector for f is minus 15n. In either case, the magnitude of the vector is 15n. Likewise, the vector representation of a displacement delta s of 4 meters would be 4 meters or minus 4 meters, depending on its direction, and its magnitude would be 4 meters regardless. Topic. In physics and engineering Vectors are fundamental in the physical sciences. They can be used to represent any quantity that has magnitude, has direction, and which adheres to the rules of vector addition. An example is velocity, the magnitude of which is speed. For example, the velocity 5 m per second upward could be represented by the vector 0, 5 in two dimensions with the positive y-axis as up. Another quantity represented by a vector is force, since it has a magnitude and direction and follows the rules of vector addition. Vectors also describe many other physical quantities, such as linear displacement, displacement, linear acceleration, angular acceleration, linear momentum, and angular momentum. Other physical vectors, such as the electric and magnetic field, are represented as a system of vectors at each point of a physical space, that is, a vector field. Examples of quantities that have magnitude and direction but fail to follow the rules of vector addition are angular displacement and electric current. Consequently, these are not vectors. In Cartesian space In the Cartesian coordinate system, a bound vector can be represented by identifying the coordinates of its initial and terminal point. For instance, the points A topic 1 0 0 and B 0 1 0 in space determine the bound vector A B display style over right arrow AB pointing from the point X topic one on the x axis to the point y. One on the y axis. In Cartesian coordinates, a free vector may be thought of in terms of a corresponding bound vector, in this sense, whose initial point has the coordinates of the origin O equals 0, 0, 0. It is then determined by the coordinates of that bound vector's terminal point. 
Thus the free vector represented by 1, 0, 0 is a vector of unit length pointing along the direction of the positive x-axis. This coordinate representation of free vectors allows their algebraic features to be expressed in a convenient numerical fashion. For example, the sum of the two free vectors 1, 2, 3 and minus 2, 0, 4 is the free vector 1, 2, 3 plus minus 2, 0, 4. Topic: 1 minus 2, 2 plus 0, 3 plus 4. Minus 1, 2, 7. Topic: Euclidean and affine vectors. In the geometrical and physical settings, sometimes it is possible to associate, in a natural way, a length or magnitude and a direction to vectors. In addition, the notion of direction is strictly associated with the notion of an angle between two vectors. If the dot product of two vectors is defined a scalar valued product of two vectors then it is also possible to define a length. The dot product gives a convenient algebraic characterization of both angle, a function of the dot product between any two non zero vectors, and length, the square root of the dot product of a vector by itself. In three dimensions, it is further possible to define the cross product, which supplies an algebraic characterization of the area and orientation in space of the parallelogram defined by two vectors used as sides of the parallelogram. In any dimension and in particular higher dimensions it's possible to define the exterior product which among other things supplies an algebraic characterization of the area and orientation in space of the n-dimensional parallelotope defined by n vectors However it is not always possible or desirable to define the length of a vector in a natural way This more general type of spatial vector is the subject of vector spaces for free vectors and affine spaces for bound vectors as each represented by an ordered pair of points An important example is Minkowski space that is important to our understanding of special relativity where there is a generalization of length that permits non-zero vectors to have zero length other physical examples come from thermodynamics, where many of the quantities of interest can be considered vectors in a space with no notion of length or angle. Generalizations In physics, as well as mathematics, a vector is often identified with a tuple of components, or list of numbers, that act as scalar coefficients for a set of basis vectors. When the basis is transformed, for example by rotation or stretching, then the components of any vector in terms of that basis also transform in an opposite sense. The vector itself has not changed, but the basis has, so the components of the vector must change to compensate. The vector is called covariant or contravariant depending on how the transformation of the vector's components is related to the transformation of the basis. In general, contravariant vectors are regular vectors with units of distance such as a displacement or distance times some other unit such as velocity or acceleration covariant vectors on the other hand have units of 1 over distance such as gradient if you change units a special case of a change of basis from meters to millimeters a scale factor of 1 1000th a displacement of 1 meter becomes 1000 millimeters a contravariant change in numerical value in contrast, a gradient of 1 k per meter becomes 0.001 k per millimeter a covariant change in value. See covariance and contravariance of vectors. Tensors are another type of quantity that behave in this way, a vector is one type of tensor. In pure mathematics, a vector is any element of a vector space over some field and is often represented as a coordinate vector. The vectors described in this article are a very special case of this general definition because they are contravariant with respect to the ambient space. Contravariance captures the physical intuition behind the idea that a vector has magnitude and direction. Topic: <laughs> Representations. Vectors are usually denoted in lowercase boldface, as a or lowercase italic boldface, as a. Uppercase letters are typically used to represent matrices. Other conventions include a display style VEC a or a, especially in handwriting. Alternatively, some use a tilde tilde or a wavy underline drawn beneath the symbol, e.g. a 
display style underset caret sim a which is a convention for indicating boldface type if the vector represents a directed distance or displacement from a point a to a point b see figure it can also be denoted as a b display style stackrel long right arrow ab or ab especially in literature in german it was common to represent vectors with small fracture letters as a display style mathfrak a vectors are usually shown in graphs or other diagrams as arrows directed line segments as illustrated in the figure here the point A is called the origin, tail, base, or initial point, point B is called the head, tip, endpoint, terminal point or final point. The length of the arrow is proportional to the vector's magnitude, while the direction in which the arrow points indicates the vector's direction. On a two-dimensional diagram, sometimes a vector perpendicular to the plane of the diagram is desired. These vectors are commonly shown as small circles. A circle with a dot at its center Unicode U indicates a vector pointing out of the front of the diagram, toward the viewer. A circle with a cross inscribed in it Unicode U indicates a vector pointing into and behind the diagram. These can be thought of as viewing the tip of an arrow head on and viewing the flights of an arrow from the back. In order to calculate with vectors, the graphical representation may be too cumbersome. Vectors in an n-dimensional Euclidean space can be represented as coordinate vectors in a Cartesian coordinate system. The endpoint of a vector can be identified with an ordered list of n real numbers n -tuple. These numbers are the coordinates of the endpoint of the vector, with respect to a given Cartesian coordinate system, and are typically called the scalar components or scalar projections of the vector on the axes of the coordinate system. As an example in two dimensions see figure the vector from the origin o topic 0 0 to the point a 2 3 is simply written as a equals 2 3 display style math bf a equals 2 3 the notion that the tail of the vector coincides with the origin is implicit and easily understood. Thus, the more explicit notation O A is usually not deemed necessary and very rarely used. In three-dimensional Euclidean space or R3, vectors are identified with triples of scalar components A equals A 1 2 a 3 display style math bf a equals a underscore 1 a underscore 2 a underscore 3 also written a equals a x a y a z display style math bf a equals a underscore x a underscore y a underscore z this can be generalized to n-dimensional Euclidean space or Rn. A equals a one a two a three a n minus one a n. Display style math bf a equals a underscore one a underscore two a underscore three c d o t s a underscore n one a underscore n. These numbers are often arranged into a column vector or row vector, particularly when dealing with matrices, as follows: a equals a one a two a three equals a one a two a three display style math bf o equals begin b matrix a underscore one a underscore two a underscore three end b matrix equals a underscore one a underscore two a underscore three. Another way to represent a vector in n dimensions is to introduce the standard basis vectors. For instance, in three dimensions, there are three of them. E one equals one zero zero e 
2 equals 0 1 0 e 3 equals 0 0 1 Display style Math BF E underscore one equals one zero zero Math BF E underscore two equals zero one zero Math BF E underscore three equals zero zero one these have the intuitive interpretation as vectors of unit length pointing up the x, y, and z axis of a Cartesian coordinate system, respectively. In terms of these, any vector a in R3 can be expressed in the form a equals a 1 a 2 a 3 equals a 1 1 0 0 plus a 2 0 1 0 plus a 3 0 0 1 Display style math BF a equals a underscore one, a underscore two, a underscore three equals a underscore one, one, zero, zero, plus a underscore two, zero, one, zero, plus a underscore three, zero, zero, one or a equals a one plus a two plus a three equals a 1 e 1 plus a 2 e 2 plus a 3 e 3 Display style math bf equals math bf underscore one plus math bf underscore two plus math bf underscore three equals a underscore one math bf e underscore one plus a underscore two math bf e underscore two plus a underscore three math bf e underscore three where a1, a2, a3 are called the vector components or vector projections of a on the basis vectors or equivalently on the corresponding cartesian axes x, y and z see figure while a1, a2, a3 are the respective scalar components or scalar projections in introductory physics textbooks the standard basis vectors are often instead denoted i j k Display style math bf i math bf j math bf k or x caret y caret z caret display style math bf hat x math bf hat y math bf hat z in which the hat symbol caret typically denotes unit vectors. In this case, the scalar and vector components are denoted respectively ax, i, as, and ax, i, as note the difference in boldface. Thus, a equals a x plus a y plus a z equals a x i plus a y j plus a z k display style math bf o equals math bf o underscore x plus math bf o underscore y plus math bf o underscore z equals a underscore x math bf i plus a underscore y math bf j plus a underscore z math bf k the notation A is compatible with the index notation and the summation convention commonly used in higher level mathematics, physics, and engineering. Decomposition or resolution As explained above a vector is often described by a set of vector components that add up to form the given vector. Typically, these components are the projections of the vector on a set of mutually perpendicular reference axes basis vectors. The vector is said to be decomposed or resolved with respect to that set. 
The decomposition or resolution of a vector into components is not unique, because it depends on the choice of the axes on which the vector is projected. Moreover, the use of Cartesian unit vectors such as x y z Display style math bf hat x math bf hat y math bf hat z as a basis in which to represent a vector is not mandated. Vectors can also be expressed in terms of an arbitrary basis, including the unit vectors of a cylindrical coordinate system. Rho caret phi caret z caret Display style bold symbol hat row bold symbol hat phi math bf hat z or spherical coordinate system r caret theta caret phi caret display style math bf hat r bold symbol hat theta bold symbol hat phi the latter two choices are more convenient for solving problems which possess cylindrical or spherical symmetry respectively. The choice of a basis does not affect the properties of a vector or its behavior under transformations. A vector can also be broken up with respect to «non-fixed» basis vectors that change their orientation as a function of time or space. For example, a vector in three-dimensional space can be decomposed with respect to two axes, respectively normal, and tangent to a surface see figure. Moreover, the radial and tangential components of a vector relate to the radius of rotation of an object. The former is parallel to the radius and the latter is orthogonal to it. In these cases, each of the components may be in turn decomposed with respect to a fixed coordinate system or basis set e.g., a global coordinate system, or inertial reference frame. Basic properties The following section uses the Cartesian coordinate system with basis vectors E 1 equals 1 0 0 E 2 equals 0 1 0 E 3 equals 0 0 1 display style math bf e underscore 1 equals 1 0 0 math bf e underscore 2 equals 0 1 0 math bf e underscore 3 equals 0 0 1 and assumes that all vectors have the origin as a common base point a vector a will be written as a equals a one e one plus a two e two plus a three e three Display style math bf a equals a underscore one math bf e underscore one plus a underscore two math bf e underscore two plus a underscore three math bf e underscore three. Topic equality. Two vectors are said to be equal if they have the same magnitude and direction. Equivalently, they will be equal if their coordinates are equal. So two vectors a equals a one e one plus a two e two plus a three e three Display style math bf a equals a underscore one math bf e underscore one plus a underscore two math bf e underscore two plus a underscore three math bf e underscore three and b equals b one e one plus b two e two plus B three E three 
Display style Math BF B equals B underscore one Math BF E underscore one plus B underscore two Math BF E underscore two plus B underscore three Math BF E underscore three are equal if a one equals B one a two equals B two Three equals B three Display style a underscore one equals B underscore one quad underscore two equals B underscore two quad underscore three equals B underscore three. Topic Opposite, parallel, and anti parallel vectors. Two vectors are opposite if they have the same magnitude but opposite direction. So two vectors a equals a one e one plus a two e two plus a three e three Display style Math BF a equals a underscore one Math BF E underscore one plus A underscore two Math BF E underscore two plus A underscore three Math BF E underscore three and B equals B one E one plus B two E two plus B three E three Display style Math BF B equals B underscore one Math BF E underscore one plus B underscore two Math BF E underscore two plus B underscore three Math BF E underscore three or opposite I F A one equals minus B one a two equals minus b two a three equals minus b three Display style a underscore one equals b underscore one quad a underscore two equals b underscore two quad a underscore three equals b underscore three Two vectors are parallel if they have the same direction but not necessarily the same magnitude, or antiparallel if they have opposite direction but not necessarily the same magnitude. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Addition and subtraction. Assume now that a and b are not necessarily equal vectors, but that they may have different magnitudes and directions. The sum of a and b is plus b equals a 1 plus b 1 e 1 plus a 2 plus b 2 e 2 plus a 3 plus b 3 E three Display style Math BF a plus Math BF B equals a underscore one plus B underscore one Math BF E underscore one plus a underscore two plus B underscore two Math BF E underscore two plus a underscore three plus B underscore three Math BF E underscore three the addition may be represented graphically by placing the tail of the arrow B at the head of the arrow A, and then drawing an arrow from the tail of A to the head of B. The new arrow drawn represents the vector A plus B, as illustrated below. This addition method is sometimes called the parallelogram rule because A and B form the sides of a parallelogram and A plus B is one of the diagonals. If A and B are bound vectors that have the same base point, this point will also be the base point of A plus B. One can check geometrically that a plus b. Topic b plus a and a plus b plus c. 
a plus b plus c the difference of a and b is a minus b equals a 1 minus b 1 e 1 plus a 2 minus b 2 e 2 plus a 3 minus b 3 e 3 Display style Math BF a Math BF B equals a underscore one B underscore one Math BF E underscore one plus a underscore two B underscore two Math BF E underscore two plus a underscore three B underscore three Math BF E underscore three Subtraction of two vectors can be geometrically defined as follows to subtract B from A, place the tails of A and B at the same point, and then draw an arrow from the head of B to the head of A. This new arrow represents the vector a minus b, as illustrated below. Topic: <laughs> Scalar multiplication. A vector may also be multiplied or rescaled by a real number r. In the context of conventional vector algebra, these real numbers are often called scalars from scale to distinguish them from vectors. The operation of multiplying a vector by a scalar is called scalar multiplication. The resulting vector is r a equals r a 1 e 1 plus r a 2 e 2 plus r a 3 e 3 display style r math bf o equals raw underscore 1 math bf e underscore 1 plus raw underscore 2 math bf e underscore 2 plus raw underscore 3 math bf e underscore 3 intuitively multiplying by a scalar r stretches a vector out by a factor of r Geometrically, this can be visualized at least in the case when r is an integer as placing r copies of the vector in a line where the endpoint of one vector is the initial point of the next vector. If r is negative, then the vector changes direction, it flips around by an angle of 180 degrees. Two examples are topic -1 and r are given below scalar multiplication is distributive over vector addition in the following sense r a plus b topic ra plus r b for all vectors a and b and all scalars r one can also show that a minus b a plus minus 1 b topic length the length or magnitude or norm of the vector a is denoted by a or less commonly a which is not to be confused with the absolute value a scalar norm the length of the vector a can be computed with the euclidean norm a equals a 1 2 plus a 2 2 plus a 3 2 display style left math bf a right equals sqrt a underscore 1 caret 2 plus a underscore 2 caret 2 plus a underscore 3 caret 2 which is a consequence of the pythagorean theorem since the basis vectors e1 e2 e3 are orthogonal unit vectors this happens to be equal to the square root of the dot product discussed below of the vector with itself equals a a display style left math bf a right equals sqrt math bf a c d o t math bf a unit vector a unit vector is any vector with a length of one. Normally, unit vectors are used simply to indicate direction. A vector of arbitrary length can be divided by its length to create a unit vector. This is known as normalizing a vector. 
A unit vector is often indicated with a hat as in A. To normalize a vector A equals A1, A2, A3, scale the vector by the reciprocal of its length A. That is A caret equals A A equals A 1 A E 1 plus A 2 A E 2 plus a 3 a e 3 Display style Math BF hat a equals FRAC Math BF a left Math BF a right equals FRAC a underscore one left Math BF a right Math BF E underscore one plus FRAC a underscore two left Math BF a right Math BF E underscore two plus FRAC a underscore three left Math BF a right Math BF E underscore three zero vector the zero vector is the vector with length zero. Written out in coordinates, the vector is 0, 0, 0, and it is commonly denoted 0 display style VEC 0 0, or simply 0. Unlike any other vector, it has an arbitrary or indeterminate direction, and cannot be normalized, that is, there is no unit vector that is a multiple of the zero vector. The sum of the zero vector with any vector A is a that is, 0 plus a equals a equals topic dot product equals the dot product of two vectors a and b sometimes called the inner product or since its result is a scalar the scalar product is denoted by a b and is defined as a b equals a b cos Theta display style math bf a c d o t math bf b equals left math bf a right left math bf b right cos theta, where theta is the measure of the angle between a and b. See trigonometric function for an explanation of cosine. Geometrically, this means that a and b are drawn with a common start point, and then the length of a is multiplied with the length of the component of b that points in the same direction as a. The dot product can also be defined as the sum of the products of the components of each vector as a b equals a 1 b 1 plus a 2 b 2 plus a 3 b 3 Display style math bf a c d o t math bf b equals a underscore one b underscore one plus a underscore two b underscore two plus a underscore three b underscore three. Topic cross product. The cross product, also called the vector product or outer product, is only meaningful in three or seven dimensions. The cross product differs from the dot product primarily in that the result of the cross product of two vectors is a vector. The cross product, denoted a times b, is a vector perpendicular to both a and b and is defined as a times b equals a b sin theta n Display style math bf a times math bf b equals left math bf a right left math bf b right sin theta math bf n, where theta is the measure of the angle between a and b, and n is a unit vector perpendicular to both a and b, which completes a right-handed system. The right-handedness constraint is necessary because there exist two unit vectors that are perpendicular to both a and b, namely n and n. The cross product a times b is defined so that a b and a times b also becomes a right-handed system, but note that a and b are not necessarily orthogonal. This is the right-hand rule. The length of a times b can be interpreted as the area of the parallelogram having a and b as sides. The cross product can be written as a times b equals a two b. 3 
minus a three b two e one plus a three b one minus a one b three e two plus a one b two minus a two b one e three Display style Math BF of times Math BF B equals a underscore two B underscore three a underscore three B underscore two Math BF E underscore one plus a underscore three B underscore one a underscore one B underscore three Math BF E underscore two plus a underscore one B underscore two a underscore two B underscore one Math BF E underscore three for arbitrary choices of spatial orientation that is allowing for left-handed as well as right-handed coordinate systems the cross product of two vectors is a pseudovector instead of a vector see below topic <laughs> scalar triple product The scalar triple product also called the box product or mixed triple product is not really a new operator, but a way of applying the other two multiplication operators to three vectors. The scalar triple product is sometimes denoted by a, b, c and defined as a b c equals a b times c Display style math bf a math bf b math bf c equals math bf a c d o t math bf b times math bf c. It has three primary uses. First, the absolute value of the box product is the volume of the parallelepiped, which has edges that are defined by the three vectors. Second, the scalar triple product is zero if and only if the three vectors are linearly dependent, which can be easily proved by considering that in order for the three vectors to not make a volume, they must all lie in the same plane. Third, the box product is positive if and only if the three vectors a, b and c are right-handed. In components with respect to a right-handed orthonormal basis, if the three vectors are thought of as rows or columns, but in the same order, the scalar triple product is simply the determinant of the 3 by 3 matrix having the three vectors as rows a b c equals a 1 a 2 a 3 b 1 B two B three C one C two C three Display style Math BF a Math BF B Math BF C equals left begin P matrix a underscore one and a underscore two and a underscore three B underscore one and B underscore two and B underscore three C underscore one and C underscore two and C underscore three end P matrix right the scalar triple product is linear in all three entries and antisymmetric in the following sense A B C equals C A B equals B C A equals minus A C B B equals minus B A C equals minus C B A. Display style Math BF a Math BF B Math BF C equals Math BF C Math BF a Math BF B equals Math BF B Math BF C Math BF a equals Math BF a Math BF C Math BF B equals Math BF B Math BF a Math BF C equals Math BF C Math BF B Math BF a Topic: Conversion between multiple Cartesian bases. All examples thus far have dealt with vectors expressed in terms of the same basis, namely the E basis E1, E2, E3. However, a vector can be expressed in terms of any number of different bases that are not necessarily aligned with each other and still remain the same vector. In the E basis, a vector A is expressed by definition as a equals p e 1 plus q 
q e 2 plus r e 3 Display style math bf a equals p math bf e underscore one plus q math bf e underscore two plus r math bf e underscore three. The scalar components in the E basis are, by definition, p equals a e one. Display style p equals math bf a c d o t math bf e underscore one q equals a e 2 display style q equals math bf a c d o t math bf e underscore 2 r equals a e 3 display style r equals math bf a c d o t math bf e underscore 3 in another orthnormal basis n equals n1 n2 n3 that is not necessarily aligned with e the vector a is expressed as a equals u n1 plus v n2 plus w n3 Display style math bf o equals u math bf n underscore one plus v math bf n underscore two plus w math bf n underscore three, and the scalar components in the n basis are by definition u equals a n one. Display style u equals math bf a c d o t math bf n underscore one v equals a n 2 display style v equals math bf a c d o t math bf n underscore 2 w equals a n 3 display style w equals math bf a c d o t math bf n underscore 3 the values of p, q, r, and u, v, w relate to the unit vectors in such a way that the resulting vector sum is exactly the same physical vector a in both cases. It is common to encounter vectors known in terms of different bases for example, one basis fixed to the earth and a second basis fixed to a moving vehicle. In such a case it is necessary to develop a method to convert between bases so the basic vector operations such as addition and subtraction can be performed. One way to express u, v, w in terms of p, q, r is to use column matrices along with a direction cosine matrix containing the information that relates the two bases. Such an expression can be formed by substitution of the above equations to form u equals p e 1 plus q e 2 plus R E three N one Display style U equals P Math BF E underscore one plus Q Math BF E underscore two plus R Math BF E underscore three C D O T Math BF N underscore one V equals P E one plus Q E two plus R E three N two Display style V equals P Math BF E underscore one plus Q Math BF E underscore two plus R Math BF E underscore three C D O T Math BF N underscore two W equals P E one plus Q E two plus R E three N three Display style W equals P Math BF E underscore one plus Q Math BF E underscore two plus R Math BF E underscore three C D O T Math BF N underscore three Distributing the dot multiplication gives 
u equals p e 1 n 1 plus q e 2 n 1 plus r e 3 n 1 Display style u equals p math bf e underscore one c d o t math bf n underscore one plus q math bf e underscore two c d o t math bf n underscore one plus r math bf e underscore three c d o t math bf n underscore one v equals p e one n two plus q e 2 n 2 plus r e 3 n 2 Display style v equals p math bf e underscore 1 c d o t math bf n underscore 2 plus q math bf e underscore 2 c d o t math bf n underscore 2 plus r math bf e underscore 3 c d o t math bf n underscore 2 w equals p e 1 n 3 plus q e 2 n 3 plus r e 3 n 3 display style w equals p math bf e underscore 1 c d o t math bf n underscore 3 plus q math bf e underscore 2 c d o t math bf n underscore 3 plus r math bf e underscore 3 c d o t math bf n underscore 3 Replacing each dot product with a unique scalar gives u equals c eleven p plus c twelve q plus c thirteen r display style u equals c underscore eleven p plus c underscore twelve q plus c underscore thirteen r v equals c 21 p plus c 22 q plus c 23 r Display style v equals c underscore twenty one p plus c underscore twenty two q plus c underscore twenty three r w equals C thirty one P plus C thirty two Q plus C thirty three R Display style W equals C underscore thirty one P plus C underscore thirty two Q plus C underscore thirty three R And these equations can be expressed as the single matrix equation U V W equals C eleven C twelve C thirteen C twenty one C twenty two C twenty three C thirty one C thirty two C thirty three PQR display style begin B matrix U V W N B matrix equals begin B matrix C underscore eleven and C underscore twelve and C underscore thirteen C underscore twenty one and C underscore twenty two and C underscore twenty three C underscore thirty one and C underscore thirty two and C underscore thirty three end B matrix begin B matrix P Q R and B matrix. This matrix equation relates the scalar components of A in the N basis U, V, and W with those in the E basis P, Q, and R. Each matrix element CJK is the direction cosine relating NJ to EK. The term direction cosine refers to the cosine of the angle between two unit vectors, which is also equal to their dot product. Therefore, C eleven equals N 
1 e 1 display style c underscore 11 equals math bf n underscore 1 c dot math bf e underscore 1 c 12 equals n 1 e 2 Display style c underscore twelve equals math bf n underscore one c dot math bf e underscore two c thirteen equals n one e three display style c underscore thirteen equals math bf n underscore one c dot math bf e underscore three c twenty one equals n 2 e 1 display style c underscore 21 equals math bf n underscore 2 c dot math bf e underscore 1 c 22 equals n 2 e 2 Display style c underscore twenty two equals math bf n underscore two c dot math bf e underscore two c twenty three equals n two e three display style c underscore twenty three equals math bf n underscore two c dot math bf e underscore three c Thirty one equals N three E one Display style C underscore thirty one equals Math BF N underscore three C dot Math BF E underscore one C thirty two equals N three E two Display style c underscore thirty two equals math bf n underscore three c dot math bf e underscore two c thirty three equals n three e three display style c underscore thirty three equals math bf n underscore three c dot math bf e underscore three by referring collectively to E1, E2, E3 as the E basis and to N1, N2, N3 as the N basis, the matrix containing all the CJK is known as the transformation matrix from E to N, or the rotation matrix from E to N, because it can be imagined as the rotation of a vector from one basis to another, or the direction cosine matrix from E to N, because it contains direction cosines. The properties of a rotation matrix are such that its inverse is equal to its transpose. This means that the rotation matrix from E to N is the transpose of rotation matrix from N to E. The properties of a direction cosine matrix, C are the determinant is unity, C, equals 1, the inverse is equal to the transpose. The rows and columns are orthogonal unit vectors, therefore their dot products are zero. The advantage of this method is that a direction cosine matrix can usually be obtained independently by using Euler angles or a quaternion to relate the two vector bases, so the basis conversions can be performed directly, without having to work out all the dot products described above. By applying several matrix multiplications in succession, any vector can be expressed in any basis so long as the set of direction cosines is known relating the successive bases. Other dimensions With the exception of the cross and triple products, the above formulae generalize to two dimensions and higher dimensions. For example, addition generalizes to two dimensions as a 1 e 1 plus a 2 e 2 plus b 1 e 1 plus b 2 e 2 equals 
1 plus b 1 e 1 plus a 2 plus b 2 e 2 Display style a underscore one math BF E underscore one plus A underscore two math BF E underscore two plus B underscore one math BF E underscore one plus B underscore two math BF E underscore two equals a underscore one plus B underscore one math BF E underscore one plus a underscore two plus B underscore two math BF E underscore two and in four dimensions as a one E one plus a two E two plus a three E three plus a four E four plus B one E one plus B two E two plus B three E three plus B four E four equals a one plus B one E one plus a two plus B two E two plus a three plus B Three E three plus a four plus B four E four display style begin aligned a underscore one math BF E underscore one plus A underscore two math BF E underscore two plus A underscore three math BF E underscore three plus A underscore four math BF E underscore four and plus B underscore one math BF E underscore one plus B underscore two math BF E underscore two plus B underscore three math BF E underscore three Plus B underscore four Math BF E underscore four equals a underscore one plus B underscore one Math BF E underscore one plus a underscore two plus B underscore two Math BF E underscore two and plus a underscore three plus B underscore three Math BF E underscore three plus a underscore four plus B underscore four Math BF E underscore four end aligned the cross product does not readily generalize to other dimensions, though the closely related exterior product does, whose result is a bivector. In two dimensions this is simply a pseudoscalar a 1 e 1 plus a 2 e 2 b 1 e 1 plus b 2 e 2 equals a 1 b 2 minus a 2 b 1 e 1 e 2 Display style a underscore one math BF E underscore one plus a underscore two math BF E underscore two wedge B underscore one math BF E underscore one plus B underscore two math BF E underscore two equals a underscore one B underscore two a underscore two B underscore one math BF E underscore one math BF E underscore two a seven-dimensional cross product is similar to the cross product in that its result is a vector orthogonal to the two arguments. There is, however, no natural way of selecting one of the possible such products. Topic: <laughs> Physics. Vectors have many uses in physics and other sciences. Topic. Length and units In abstract vector spaces, the length of the arrow depends on a dimensionless scale. 
If it represents, for example, a force, the scale is of physical dimension length force. Thus there is typically consistency in scale among quantities of the same dimension, but otherwise scale ratios may vary, for example, if 1 newton and 5 meters are both represented with an arrow of 2 cm, the scales are 1 m, 50 n and 1 to 250 respectively. Equal length of vectors of different dimension has no particular significance unless there is some proportionality constant inherent in the system that the diagram represents. Also length of a unit vector of dimension length, not length, force, etc. has no coordinate system invariant significance. Vector-valued functions Often in areas of physics and mathematics, a vector evolves in time, meaning that it depends on a time parameter t. For instance, if r represents the position vector of a particle, then r t gives a parametric representation of the trajectory of the particle. Vector-valued functions can be differentiated and integrated by differentiating or integrating the components of the vector, and many of the familiar rules from calculus continue to hold for the derivative and integral of vector-valued functions. Topic: Position, velocity, and acceleration. The position of a point x equals x1, x2, x3 in three-dimensional space can be represented as a position vector whose base point is the origin. x equals x1 e1 plus x2 e. 2 plus x 3 e 3 display style math bf x equals x underscore 1 math bf e underscore 1 plus x underscore 2 math bf e underscore 2 plus x underscore 3 math bf e underscore 3 the position vector has dimensions of length given two points x topic x1 x2 x3 y y1 y2 y3 their displacement as a vector y minus x equals y1 minus x1 e1 plus y 2 minus x 2 e 2 plus y 3 minus x 3 e 3 Display style Math BF Y Math BF X equals Y underscore one X underscore one Math BF E underscore one plus Y underscore two X underscore two Math BF E underscore two plus Y underscore three X underscore three Math BF E underscore three Which specifies the position of Y relative to X. The length of this vector gives the straight line distance from X to Y. Displacement has the dimensions of length. The velocity v of a point or particle is a vector, its length gives the speed. For constant velocity the position at time t will be x t equals t v plus x 0 Display style Math BF x underscore T equals T Math BF V plus Math BF x underscore zero where x zero is the position at time T equals zero. Velocity is the time derivative of position. Its dimensions are length time. Acceleration of a point is vector which is the time derivative of velocity. Its dimensions are length time two. Force, energy, work Force is a vector with dimensions of mass times length, time 2 and Newton's second law is the scalar multiplication F equals m a 
Display style math bf f equals m math bf of work as the dot product of force and displacement e equals f x two minus x one display style e equals math bf f c d o t math bf x underscore two math bf x underscore one Topic: Vectors as directional derivatives. A vector may also be defined as a directional derivative. Consider a function f x alpha, display style f x caret alpha, and a curve x alpha tau, display style x caret alpha tau. Then the directional derivative of f display style f is a scalar defined as d f d tau equals alpha equals 1 n d x alpha d tau f x alpha Display style frac df d tau equals sum underscore alpha equals one caret n frac dx caret alpha d tau frac partial f partial x caret alpha, where the index alpha display style alpha is summed over the appropriate number of dimensions. For example, from one to three in three-dimensional Euclidean space, from zero to three in four-dimensional spacetime, etc. Then consider a vector tangent to x alpha tau display style x caret alpha tau t alpha equals d x alpha d tau display style t caret alpha equals frac dx caret alpha d tau the directional derivative can be rewritten in differential form without a given function f display style f as d d tau equals alpha t alpha x alpha Display style frac d d tau equals sum underscore alpha t caret alpha frac partial partial x caret alpha. Therefore, any directional derivative can be identified with a corresponding vector, and any vector can be identified with a corresponding directional derivative. A vector can therefore be defined precisely as a a alpha x alpha. Display style math bf a equiva caret alpha frac partial partial x caret alpha. Topic: Vectors, pseudo vectors, and transformations. An alternative characterization of Euclidean vectors, especially in physics, describes them as lists of quantities which behave in a certain way under a coordinate transformation. A contravariant vector is required to have components that «transform opposite to the basis» under changes of basis. The vector itself does not change when the basis is transformed, instead, the components of the vector make a change that cancels the change in the basis. In other words, if the reference axes and the basis derived from it were rotated in one direction, the component representation of the vector would rotate in the opposite way to generate the same final vector. Similarly, if the reference axes were stretched in one direction, the components of the vector would reduce in an exactly compensating way. Mathematically, if the basis undergoes a transformation described by an invertible matrix M, so that a coordinate vector x is transformed to x. <laughs> Mx, then a contravariant vector V must be similarly transformed via V. M minus one display style caret minus one v 
This important requirement is what distinguishes a contravariant vector from any other triple of physically meaningful quantities. For example, if v consists of the x, y, and z components of velocity, then v is a contravariant vector. If the coordinates of space are stretched, rotated, or twisted, then the components of the velocity transform in the same way. On the other hand, for instance, a triple consisting of the length, width, and height of a rectangular box could make up the three components of an abstract vector, but this vector would not be contravariant, since rotating the box does not change the box's length, width, and height. Examples of contravariant vectors include displacement, velocity, electric field, momentum, force, and acceleration. In the language of differential geometry, the requirement that the components of a vector transform according to the same matrix of the coordinate transition is equivalent to defining a contravariant vector to be a tensor of contravariant rank 1. Alternatively, a contravariant vector is defined to be a tangent vector, and the rules for transforming a contravariant vector follow from the chain rule. Some vectors transform like contravariant vectors, except that when they are reflected through a mirror, they flip and gain a minus sign. A transformation that switches right-handedness to left-handedness and vice versa like a mirror does is said to change the orientation of space. A vector which gains a minus sign when the orientation of space changes is called a pseudovector or an axial vector. Ordinary vectors are sometimes called true vectors or polar vectors to distinguish them from pseudovectors. Pseudovectors occur most frequently as the cross product of two ordinary vectors. One example of a pseudovector is angular velocity. Driving in a car, and looking forward, each of the wheels has an angular velocity vector pointing to the left. If the world is reflected in a mirror which switches the left and right side of the car, the reflection of this angular velocity vector points to the right, but the actual angular velocity vector of the wheel still points to the left, corresponding to the minus sign. Other examples of pseudovectors include magnetic field, torque, or more generally any cross product of two true vectors. This distinction between vectors and pseudovectors is often ignored, but it becomes important in studying symmetry properties. See parity physics. Topic. See also. Equals equals notes. <laughs>